That Thanksgiving spread right there calls for spices you probably don't use all year long. So if you go to the cabinet and you're getting out the spices and then you can't smell it, you know what you should do? You should trash it. It's lost its flavors and it won't do what you really need it to do. Will an expired spice make you sick? Probably not, but a recent testing of spices found other issues. We tested 126 products and found that roughly a third had combined levels of arsenic, lead, and cadmium high enough to raise health concerns. In 31 products, levels of lead were so high that they exceeded the maximum amount anyone should have in a day. Now, this is according again to CR's experts. Oregano and thyme were found to be the most troublesome, with all of the products testing having some level that CR experts found concerning. I know the question you're asking, why are those chemicals in spices anyway? Well, the American Spice Trade Association says it is almost impossible to rid spices of all heavy metals because of the unavoidable presence in the environments where they are grown. Now, these metals are naturally occurring, but not in all spices. The good news is we found plenty of spices below our threshold of concern, such as black pepper, curry powder, coriander, saffron, white pepper, and garlic powder. So in the future, what can you do? Well, you can avoid the issue by growing and drying your own spices or herbs. I got to tell you, my mom has an inside garden. She makes it look pretty easy.